It says, the field is waste, the land mourneth. For the corn is waste, <laughs> the new wine is dried up, the oil languisheth. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen, how, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, the, the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away out away from the sons of men that's right that is right man. verse 17 okay it says the seed is rotten and they're cold the girders are laid desolate right the barns are broken down for the corn is withered how do the beasts groan so like, how do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed. Because you know in the article it said that they fed the cows, uh, livestock, corn. So it says how do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle perplexed because they have no pasture. Yea, the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee will I cry. For the fire have devoured the, the pasture of the wilderness. And the flame hath burned up all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee. For the rivers of water are dried up. And the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. That's right. Hey God. Chapter 1 verse... 10. Therefore the heavens over you is stayed from dew and the earth is stayed from her fruit. That's right, because they're not receiving any rain. Okay? They they getting that heat. So this is the earth is stayed from her fruit. Which in this case would be the corn. It says, and I will call for a drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which is grow which the ground bringeth forth, and upon man, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the hands. The Lord called a drought upon them. That's right, man. That's right. And that's what you see in. And it's glorious, man. Amos 4 and 6. And I will also have given you the cleanness of teeth in your cities and want of bread in all your places yet have you not returned unto me said the Lord talking about the, the Israelites you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans descent okay alright cause it's gonna be cleanness of teeth meaning how they gonna have clean teeth if you ain't eating nothing you don't have to worry about brushing okay Cause you ain't ain't no food on your teeth to develop plaque, so you gonna have clean teeth in the cities. Okay, you gonna die out in the cities for the want of bread in all in all your places. That famine, you ain't gonna return. You two thirds. Okay, verse nine it says, "I have Amos four and nine. I have spitten you with blasting and mildew." When your gurners and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increase, the pompa worm devoured them, yet have ye not returned unto me, said the Lord. Okay. That's right. Psalm 7846 says, And he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labors labor unto the locust. He destroyed the vine with the hail, and the sycamore tree with frost. Okay, he gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to the hot thunderbolts. Alright. 
going back to how the Lord plagued the Egyptians. Okay, and it said he's going to plague America in the same fashion. Okay. So just like he destroyed the livestock, the crops, all right, the ways of, of how the Egyptians was eating, he's doing the same this in, in America, starting with their corn, man, which, which the crops been doing bad the past couple of years. You know, but it's just increasing now because it's America's is that it's, it's time to fall, man. Okay, Psalms 105 16. Moreover, he calleth for a famine upon the land, he breaketh the whole staff of bread. That's right, that's right. Psalms 107 33. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Alright. So when that farmer was flying over and he saw nothing but bare soil. Alright. When usually he should see green husk, husk corn fields with luscious uh, ears of corn. He didn't see that. He saw bare soil. Why? Because it said right here, verse 34, Psalms 107, 34. A fruitful land into barrenness and for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. So this famine is brought because the people of the land is wicked. Okay? They're wicked. Amos 5 and 16 It says Therefore the Lord The God of hosts The Lord saith thus Well and shall be in all streets And they shall say In all the highways Alas, alas And they shall call the husbandmen To mourn And such as are skillful Of lamentation to well And in all vineyards shall be welling For I will pass through thee Say of the Lord. That's right. So you know, that's what's gonna happen, man. And you seeing that now, man. So you know, that's a beautiful thing. You know. You know. So with that. Mark 1 and 14. It says, Now after that John was put in, in, in prison, Yahushua came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Okay. Acts 5 and 29. See who who that who was the Lord speaking to. Alright. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with the, with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay, so back to Mark 1 and 15. It says, And saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, Israel, and believe the gospel. Because the Lord prophesied about these things. Alright, that there will be famines and great deaths. So you know that, you know, hopefully... 
this was edifying you know and it's beautiful the Lord's destroying that corn all right which that's that's beautiful because uh it was a while back I saw I had did a lesson on on them planting the same corn that the Lord is destroying through drought and through these high temperatures to fill his word okay to show that Esau you ain't nothing but a man man okay and this is gonna be glorious man the Lord's he's destroying you so you know with that I wanna say all praises to Yahweh Shema Shai alright double honors to the elders of great millstone taught me this truth Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers in here in the Carolinas. Brothers in North Carolina, Wad, Ayash, and uh, Anak. Brothers here in South Carolina, Manatazak, the Barmoth. And much love to that brother, Amarad, now with Trinidad Camp. And this is the brother, uh, the brother Atazawami is saying Shalom.